New grid-scale battery energy storage projects in the United States are staring down an unavoidable challenge, U.S. trade policy. But just how these tariffs impact the economics of a battery energy storage project? We've charted three tariff scenarios to find out. First, the dovish case. With a 50% tariff on steel, aluminum, and battery cells from China, and 25% tariffs on the rest of their goods, as well as a flat 10% duty on all commodities from the rest of the world, we see a 17% increase in capex on a dollar per kilowatt basis. Second, the moderate case. Duties ratchet up to 85% on everything from China, 12% on the rest of the world, with at least a 50% tariff on steel and aluminum, regardless of origin. Here, capex could increase by 30%. Finally, the hawkish case. A full-blown trade war. 125% tariffs on all Chinese goods, 25% on all trade with Canada and Mexico, and a trade-weighted duty of 20% on the rest of the world. This could push capex up by 45% or more. To make this concrete, take a 100 megawatt, 200 megawatt hour BESS in ERCOT as an example. At the beginning of this year, a developer could expect to pay a turnkey capital cost of around $800 per kilowatt. If that asset can earn middle-of-the-road revenues of around $100 per kilowatt per year over the course of its lifetime, it might realize an IRR, an internal rate of return, somewhere in the low double digits. Tack on those dovish tariffs, and that IRR falls drastically. Add to those the moderate tariffs, and yields compress even further. Go all the way to the hawkish slate of duties, and the further squeeze is incremental. Still painful, but less dramatic than the first. Notice the pattern. The first step, from no tariffs to dovish ones, erases the biggest chunk. Everything after that chips away in smaller bites. So, the decisive breakpoint isn't mild versus severe tariffs, it's tariffs versus none at all. Once duties appear, the investment landscape is already redrawn. That means planning on tariffs is the default, with developers and owners doing what they can to lock in revenues. Head to the Motor Energy Terminal now to read about the ways we see tariffs and other policies affecting the battery energy storage market in the United States. Thanks for watching.